Okay guys, so I'm going to show you um, how to preserve your fossils. So I found um, these, all of these ones here. I've already preserved these. I found all of these at Marion County, Kansas. Um, so there's a whole bunch of just um, brachiopods and clam fossils and stuff in here. And I got some bones too that I um, coated. Um, so... I'm going to show you with this fossil right here. And so what you want to do is you got to first get like mix. What I did was 50% water and 50% glue. But you can also do 60% glue and 40% water. Um, or uh, two parts glue and one part water. And you just want to mix it occasionally make sure that the glue is mixed around in there instead of settling to the bottom and you can get yourself a brush that um, like this one only costed 76 cents uh, you want one that you can throw away afterwards because the glue will harden unless you wash it really well which I will and we'll see how it turns out um, so what you want to do is you just um, dip it in here in the glue water and you just spread it around you want to go in one direction so that it doesn't like leave like weird marks like this you just go in one the same direction you just spread it all the way across there so I'll just take a little moment to do that really quick Just make sure to leave the final strokes with the brush in one direction so that it looks nice and neat. And most of the bubbles should pop as it dries. And I'll take a few minutes to um, dry to the point where you no longer see the bubbles. Oh, let's see. Got a hair on here. Make sure that you don't get any brush hairs or cat hairs or anything on here, human hairs. Then it will start over here, this one. It, this is, um, it's completely dried on this. And so it will look slightly different from how it started. It'll be a little bit darker, it'll be smoother, has a different texture. Um, and this should preserve it pretty well for many, many years. And once you get the front side done, I haven't done any of the back sides of these, but you want to do the back side also to stop it from um, decaying any further. You want to um, just keep it nice and preserved. Make sure no damage over time happens, no deteriorating. Yeah, this brush is getting kind of messed up a little bit. But it's fine, I can either throw it away or possibly use it again. This is almost done here. Almost got it painted. And um, you can continuously, I've got another hair, continuously uh, keep on painting it if you want until um, it starts to dry or you can just wait and let it dry. I've done both and it, they both turn out fine. There's no, no big change. It's starting to look good. Just keep painting it like this. And you can see it's starting to look like the others. It's starting to get more dry and smooth. I got some, uh, let's see, other fossils like this. This one's done on the front side. The back looks much different. It's different color. Haven't painted the backs yet. Okay, so it's dried now completely. 
so it's completely dry. So now I gotta do the back side, which is just basically the same using the glue. Just spread it out on here. And on these bones that I did, you can't even tell I put it on here. It's just, yeah, you can't even notice. And you don't need to add any extra coats. One coat is good. Don't need to do any more extra layers. And once this is done, I'll show you how to mount your fossil on a wall. Okay, so this is the finished product. It's dried now. So, this is what it should look like when it has the coating on. It's really smooth. It's um, completely different from how it started. And uh, we're going to move on and mount it next. So for mounting the fossils, we cut out a piece of paper that's slightly smaller than the fossil and put it over the board and we spray painted it satin black and you can see it's glossy. And so then just take off that. Then we're going to glue the fossil onto this area. And here's the other one. And we're going to glue the fossils onto there. Okay, so we're using liquid nails, heavy duty glue to glue the fossils on. Um, but you can use any heavy duty glue, such as Gorilla Glue, that will work also. So we're just gonna put the glue on lift it up just to make sure it's covering it well enough Just a little bit more to the areas where it's not covering. Okay, and now we're going to do the second fossil. Okay, that seems to be on good. Now we're going to leave them to dry for about an hour. The glue has dried on the fossils now, and now we're going to put safety hooks into them. We're just using cup hooks from Walmart, and so we've modified them with pliers to make them so that they'll fit around the fossil. 
and we're going to drill pilot holes to stick the um, safety hooks into. The safety hooks just catch the fossil if it were to fall, which I highly doubt it, but if, if there's that chance, it won't fall and break. So that's what we're doing now. Now we're going to move on to the second one. Okay, and there we go. Has all of the safety hooks attached. So, this is the final product. And you can hang it up on a wall or wherever else. <laughs> Thank you.